I wonder if the old great and mighty Liam Neeson have ever known that Miguel means Michael in Spanish. Well, if you ever study Spanish people with with Spanish names, I know that um Tulio means the Tito in Spanish. That's the only names I remember, you know, that has a d different names that means something. If you know what I mean. Well, anyway, hi ladies and dudes. This is Rebecca Lynn Barkley, aka Boobop1987. This is my review for a day. Yes, yes, we are finally here on season 10 of my movie review series. And yes, I can't believe we made it this far. And we're getting very, very close to movie review number 200. I'm not sure what movie is going to be. But for right now, we're on, like, in the 70s area. I forgot the the name of the number, if you know what I mean. So, here we go, ladies and dudes. Here is my next movie review that i seen in fit. As if only I could get this movie ticket cleared up. I think that's a little bit better. So, for my next movie review is... The Marksman. And this is the third time that the old great and mighty Liam Neeson is working with the same company called Open Road who did Honest Thief and the Grey. That's a true fun fact there, ladies and dudes. Something about the company called Open Road. Since I don't know much about the Open Road company, so Sally only know the films that he's featured and that's it. And yeah, don't listen to what the critics say about this film. You got to see the movie for yourself. Something that all of us need to understand of. Well, sometimes the critics don't understand about movies. There's a lot of movies out there that are pretty darn underrated and they need to be overlooked right away. And once again, Liam Neeson has another underrated film. And that's the reason why he deserves to be the king of all underrated films. If you know what I mean. So anyway, without further ado, ladies and dudes, let's head on to my next movie review called The Marksman. And let's head on to the main plot of the story. It's a story about a guy named Jim who is some type of cowboy ranger dude who has to take care of cowboy stuff and make sure that those coyotes don't eat the cows and, you know, try to make them safe and sound. And he has a good house. But thanks to a banker, the banker told him that the house will be sold and he doesn't have the money for it. So he had no idea what to do, what his next step will be. And then here comes this poor Spanish lady and the Spanish kid who are running away from home and, and try to get away from those bad evil people. The people who just want them for some unknown reason and yeah um jim tried really hard to take care of those bad guys as soon as he can i think he killed one of them during that time in the scene of the movie but one of those bad guys had shot the poor spanish lady and she died and she, well before she passed away she told her little boy to go to Chicago and see the other family members who are still alive. And it's up to Jim to take that poor Spanish boy, you know, on a road trip and try to head on to Chicago 
as soon as he can and make sure he doesn't get killed by those bad guys. That's all I could say about the main plot of the story, and I guess everybody wants to know was what the heck do I think about this movie? Well, to tell you the truth is, ladies and dudes, I really did enjoy this movie. I will say this is like a remake movie of The Lamb. Does anybody remember my last movie review of The Lamb? You know, a story about a guy who is a priest and he has to take care of an ill boy and try to keep him away from that awful priest dude and they went to London, England together and you know they're trying to start their lives all over again if you know what I mean so yeah it is truly a remake of The Lamb but in a nice different direction I really like the direction they've gone in this film they did a pretty good job on it Oh yeah, for my rankings for all three of the films that Liam Neeson featured, the same company called The Open Road, I will say The Marksman deserves to be in third place. Honest Feet goes to second place, and the first place will always be The Grey, always. And I'm not sure when Liam Neeson's going to work with them again in another film. Featuring Open Road. As for the Marksman, I will say I had a pretty good storyline for the most part. The characters I have mixed feelings with. I love the cinematography. It's the, one of the most wonderful cinematographies I have ever seen so far in a Liam Neeson film. I also enjoyed the score too. It had a really good score. I, I like the score that has a little bit of Spanish in it and some of the American stuff and um yeah the action scenes are pretty good well since there's not much and the best part I love about that movie is the dog that dog is so darn adorable and cute and also he is truly the main helper of the story well for the middle part, anyway. May rest in peace. Uh, I don't want to spoil what happened to the dog. It was too heartbreaking for me. Alright, ladies and dudes. Let's head on to my strongest points and the weakest points of the Marksman. I will say for the strongest points for this movie is truly the semi I was blown away with the semi-tography. It was sharp, it was very well good shaped, and I just loved the semi-tography all the way through from start to finish. It was, it was very well spot on. Hard for me to say. And yes, yes, ladies and dudes, I'm sure everybody's so darn concerned is, is there any good fun facts that we need to know about this film? Not just when Liam Neeson is working with the same company again. Yes, I did found an interesting fun fact about this film. There, I remember the time when I watched a video of something that was one minute and something seconds about what the heck Liam Neeson is such a big fan of. He is truly a big fan of food. He loves food very much. And yes, there are some good food scenes that did feature in this movie. And there's one point in this movie that the oh great to mighty Liam Neeson is a big fan of hot dogs. And I found an interview about it too. There was an interview with somebody who interviewed Liam Neeson who really did enjoy this movie and he did say something about hot dogs and his favorite toppings are onions, pickles, and mustard but he doesn't like ketchup I wonder why he doesn't like ketchup in his hot dog Maybe it's not, maybe he's allergic to ketchup, I think. I'm not sure. 
But that's a pretty interesting fun fact to be found in this film. So yes. That's the only fun fact I will tell you. So I will say for the strongest points for this movie is the semitography and one good interesting fun fact to be found that I found with this movie. And now let's go on to the weakest points of the movie and I really do have a weak point is uh where the heck is this other company that Liam Neeson is going to work with again? When I first gonna watch this movie for the very first time somebody forgot to put this company in the opening credits. Well for uh the logo wise I guess. I have no idea where the heck it is. Man, that sucks. Big time. So where the heck is this company who's responsible for bringing the Marksman over to the fader and also for the trailer as well? I did not see when I finally get to see the film. And another major weak point I found with this movie is the villain. I think the villain had gone way too overboard. I mean... He took things way too far. There's a lot of scenes here and there that he got way too far for. Even killing a lot of innocent people. He, I remember he did kill the poor lady who was working at the gas station. And the poor man who owns a hotel. Yeah. He's one evil madman. I think he got way too old bored. He took things way, way too much. I just don't like that villain at all. Man, yeah, like I said, this guy is way too overboard. Uh, hard for me to say. So that's the only two main weak points I found with this movie. And now let's go on to the characters. I really like Jim. He's a very good, likable character. I really do feel sorry for him for, you know, having a rough and tough life. And he lost his wife in cancer. And, and he cares about his stepdaughter very much. Even she wasn't there much in the film. Um, And he's really cool with a rifle. He's really darn cool with a rifle. And he did take things seriously at his job. And I do like that kid, Miguel, too. He's a very good, likable character. I think I like this kid way better than the one from The Lamb. Because The Lamb, the, you know, the kid from The Lamb, uh, he was way too bratty and immature. And I really don't like him smoking those cigarettes. But I think the kid from this movie is way, way better. At least he's likable. He's really kind and sweet. And I just feel sorry for him for losing his mother. That's a sad shame. But I will say the best character in the whole entire movie for me is that dog. I freaking love that dog. He, he is a really cool looking dog. I think his name is Jackie, if I remember right. I'm not sure what the dog's name is. And I know I heard it a couple times in the film, but if you guys leave a comment there, let me know what the dog's name was. I think it was Jackie. I can't remember. But that dog was so darn lovable and cute, and I wish I had it was my dog. I mean, this dog is so darn brave. He took things very seriously. He, he loves humans so darn much. And I like the part where he and Jimmy had good character development and chemistry. And yeah, an interesting fun fact, uh, Liam Neeson is a big fan of dogs. I remember there was a video about him uh, going fishing with a dog uh, back when his beloved wife Natasha Richardson was still alive back then. Another good fun fact to be found. Yeah, that dog really does rule. But it sucks that he died. I can't spoil what it is, but you gotta see the movie for yourself, if you know what I mean. And that is it. So let's go on to my final thoughts of this film. Overall, the, mar the Marksman 
deserves to be the next underrated film that Liam Neeson has so far in his collection. I really do like the storyline for the most part. The characters I have mixed feelings and the cinematography is beautiful and I love the score. It's enjoyable to listen to and be a... Well, like I said, don't listen to the critics. You gotta see this movie for yourself, if you know what I mean. So for my rating for this film, I decide to give it an 8.5 out of 10. It's a good movie to watch. And that is my whole entire movie review of The Marksman. And I hope and pray I will do more movie reviews to come in the later on future. And plus, my 200th movie review. I have no idea what it is, but we'll wait and see what happens in the main future. So, that's it for now. I'll see you guys later, and sayonara.